Hi, this is Shadi, and today we will be discussing Western boxing, pugilism, savat, and their throws. So, anyone familiar with a little bit of martial arts history, you would know that these Western style striking arts, such as savat and the boxing, had a lot more grappling in the past. For example, boxing and the Queensbury rules that happened progressively removed a lot of the grappling and a lot of the stuff that used to happen in the past made the sport more specialized and more safe savat same thing any um, discipline today is going through some rule change and becoming uh, specialized in something brazilian jiu-jitsu striking karate etc so what we will do today is go through um, Kojiro Sakurada's book of 1904 uh, that's discussing Western boxing. Of course, the link of the National Diet Library book will be in the description below. And of course, thank you, Eric Shehan, for shedding light on these little gems. And of course, as a judoka, what I will be doing is actually comparing it uh, with a judo and some wrestling footage, gi and no gi. So, the first uh, which is the obvious one is going to be your classical O Soto Otoshi, which you will see it uh, in the Gracie Self Defense in Karate and a lot of disciplines. But here you can see it also in Western boxing. Um, you hook the head, you plant your foot down behind them and overwhelm the upper body with your arm, and of course, tilting the head backwards and thus. Uh, getting the throw. You can see on the left side the axis on the jawline which explains that you have to tilt the head backwards which will greatly affect their balance backwards and from there the leg that's doing the tripping and it's planted firmly and thus uh, you get the takedown. So it is not sleeve lapel obviously but um, the way you actually take the head down is somewhat similar to an iriminage in Aikido. So iriminage is an entering throw where you actually go in with the arm across the face, not on the neck, which is a big misconception, and you actually take them down. So o soto otoshi is where you actually plant your foot down and overwhelm the upper body forward, making them lean backwards and fall down. So it's different than an o sotogari. This is an o sotogari where you actually reap away leg uh, backwards and upwards not so much planting your foot down like quote tripping them so the next one is as you can actually imagine if you can hook the arm or across the face and plant your foot behind them you can actually turn the other way around and actually turn it to a turn throw uh, a hip toss wrapping around the head what we call today koshi guruma or in Greco-Roman wrestling, a head and arm uh, throw. It is very organic, it is very effective, and it is very devastating regardless of the level. And you can see it in all styles of wrestling uh, throughout the world, whether it's kushti, uh, wrestling, boch, uh, judo, of course. Um, you can see this throw as effective as it is from the beginner level to the highest level even in the octagon and MMA, Ronda Rousey in particular. So Koshiguruma is uh, a throw that kids learn but at the same time you can see it on the Olympic stage. So this is it, you basically pull them towards you, wrap the hand, load on the hips and wheel them over your hips using the headlock to actually finish the throw. So it's not a, a hip toss per se, but the arm that's locking the head is doing a lot of the steering and a lot of the guiding, which is very important. It is called uh, hip wheel because you're wheeling them over the hips. Here you can see Greco-Roman wrestling as well. Absolutely devastating and absolutely brilliant and aesthetically pleasing to watch. So the next one, which is the final one being your classical you know, fireman's carry or kata guruma, shoulder wheel, a tewaza, a hand technique, one of the most brilliant techniques of jujitsu. You can find it also in sumo, you can find it of course in folk style, freestyle wrestling, but um, in today's judo, the Olympic judo, it is unfortunately a lost technique. There's a sleeve variation, um, not many can actually get that big lift, while others resort to more of a side sacrificing technique calling it yoko stemi yoko otoshi which is are very valid arguments because you are sacrificing yourself to the side 
and dropping them and not so much picking them up and dumping them so um, in Kodokan Shiai however in the Kodokan you can actually grab the legs and there's also the Yuko so Kataguruma let's take a look at the basic form and of course see it in competition so Kataguruma shoulder wheel let's see the basic form you pick up pull the sleeve upward creating Kuzushi and then hooking the leg and of course lifting with your hips and your legs and dumping over your shoulders wheeling them over your shoulders let's take a look at some old school judo and how amazing and devastating uh, it used to be so here you see that huge pickup and that dive look at this side I don't know what you call this actually but this is absolutely brilliant this is against the legendary Winston Gordon and yet look this side dump and of course in wrestling and freestyle you can see it uh, grabbing the leg you can get that upward motion upward you can actually also just wield them like this steamroll while gripping the leg you can do a lot of acrobatic stuff uh, with it so it's really unfortunate that today's Olympic judo this is not an option but in Kodokan Shiai in Kodokan where I'm training we are actually doing this when I grab the legs when I go for the legs no one is is gonna be like oh no this is Shido um, because there are competitions with a rule set where you can actually grip like the Batsugan not the one that I participated in I did the Shodan Shiai which is different a lot of people uh, commented you know uh, you won the Batsugan no it was the Shodan Shiai Batsugan is as for the black belts only so um, this uh, is some this is a topic that I wanted to tackle for a very long time but um, pugilism etc uh, I've done a video on Savat but uh, Western boxing in general to talk about all these different styles obviously they have different histories the rule sets changed uh, every, every uh, Western style of boxing has its uh, rule change history or story but to put them all in a in one video and as Sakurada called it Western boxing so Savat pugilism etc I would imagine they all had these throws when they grappled back in the past so I'll link my Savat uh, video towards the end I'm sure it should appear on the uh, screen right now and thank you all for listening uh, this has been three years of Shadi now and I'm very thankful for all your support throughout the years also consider supporting me on patreon i have exclusive content for the patrons only like full podcasts and uh, exclusive videos there for the patrons but of course my main content will always be uh, on the main channel so you don't need to feel obliged however your support would mean greatly this was shady and thank you for listening